All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can make the earth so dense that it pulls the fabric of reality away from everything else around it. It's Universe Sandbox 2. This is Japan. Japan's population is, I, I don't know what Japan's population is, but do you know who does know? Google. Hey Google, what is the population of Japan? In 2018, the population of Japan was 126,529,100. What do you mean was? Are they all gone? That was a joke. Of course they're all gone, because it's 2020 and I'm about to blow up the world again. So the density of people in Japan is 126 million. Do you know what we call that? Rookie numbers. So Universe Sandbox has new particle and destruction effects. I'm really glad that they decided to focus on the destruction. <laughs> Usually people are throwing stuff at the earth or throwing earth at something, or you're increasing the speed of the earth's rotation or making it stop completely or making the earth bigger. I wanna do something different today. I wanna make the mass of the earth so ridiculously heavy that it rips apart the fabric of the entire solar system. I also saw a video about what if the earth had Jupiter's mass. I thought that was actually kind of cool. But one Jupiter? is rookie numbers. You know what Japan hates? It's freaking rookie numbers. So eventually we're gonna go with an Earth with one million times Jupiter's mass. I may even go with a billion times Jupiter's mass, quite honestly, because there's really no restriction how many zeros I'm allowed to type in. The other thing is, is that depending on what the planet is made out of, it reacts differently. So eventually I wanna slurp up a gas giant like Jupiter with the Earth. You've been cast in shade in Florida for too long, Jupiter. Your ass is grass. Okay, so first things first. We're going to start increasing the density of rookie numbers over here until it destroys the entire solar system. Then I want to slow things down and see what it does to different entities. You know, like other stars or the Earth itself. See, the delicate balance of the solar system is kept through gravity. So when we start screwing this up, by changing the density. I don't want to change the radius. I want that to stay exactly the same. Alrighty. So a couple of very, very bad things have just happened. I increased the density by, you know, twice over and the poles immediately melted. Why? Because science is awesome. Because the poles have melted, the entire world is beginning to flood. I know what you're asking. Is Florida still there? The answer is no. But everyone else is gonna get buried too, so I don't feel too bad. All right, let's keep moving the density up here. We're only, you know, three times the Earth's normal mass. Something that you have to consider here is that, you know, eventually the moon is gonna get pissed off. This is the moon. The moon has a love-hate relationship with gravity. How does the moon feel about the Earth currently being six times more dense than normal? Considering it's about to do a friggin' drive-by, it probably feels pretty bad about it. Oh, that wasn't that close. I thought maybe the moon would get away, but it's starting to slow down real fast. Okay, it still kind of orbits at six times normal density. We haven't had any destruction yet, and that's really unfortunate, so let's go ahead and double this. A little bit closer yet. How close? Oh, you know, close enough to shave off part of the moon. Mmm, particle effects. You may ask yourself, but great, how's the moon doing? Well, you know, it's uh, 2,700 degrees Celsius. There's a nice chunk. You can actually see the moon vomit all beginning to create a Saturn-like ring around rookie numbers. Let me go ahead and speed this up here. Look at it, it's like a Hoover. It's like How does the Earth feel about getting pelted by moon chunks? It really doesn't care. You know who cares? The moon cares. Luckily, since every piece of ice on planet Earth has melted, and you know, the gravity is so high that the water is just flattened across the entirety of the surface. Uh, there's nothing really to injure. What's the current life on Earth? Oh, we're all dead. Don't mind me. Just watching rookie numbers beat the hell out of the moon over and over again until there's nothing left. Obviously 13 times the Earth's mass isn't good enough. So let's go and, uh, you know, go with 26. See, now parts of the moon are starting to impact the Earth. You know it's really bad when there's a wave of fire going across a water world. Average surface temperature is 183 degrees Celsius. In a couple of pockets, it's up to 9,600. I can't wait to put an Earth next to this Earth and see what the big, dense Earth does to the regular Earth. Just seeing if we're screwing up the entirety of the solar system yet. Um, 
Everything still looks pretty good for the most part. That means we're gonna have to go to 54 times Earth mass. Still nothing. You know what? Let's just go straight to 10 times. Now we're almost a two Jupiter planet. How about a 17 Jupiter planet? Oh, we've turned into a gas giant now. Holy sh- Venus just got beat. I'm sorry, Venus. <laughs> you ever wanted to know what the surface of Venus looked like under all that cloud cover? This is it. We blasted away the cloud cover in one shot. On the plus side, the surface temperature of the Earth is so much better now that we're a gas giant. Everyone is still absolutely dead. Let's keep it going. 10 times more density. You know it's really bad when rookie numbers' orbit turns blood red. Actually, the entire planet has gone into the negative sphere. It's also starting to yank the sun around. Oh, there goes what was left of the moon. There goes Venus. Ah, what the hell, 10 times more. Do you know what the Earth is vomiting up right now? It's those goddamn cell phones. Oh my God, what is the sun doing with Mercury? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it didn't take much to rip the entire fabric of the solar system apart. Ah, whatever, we're already here. Let's go times 10 more. You know what, times 10 more. It's always good when you have an E with a plus and a bunch of numbers after it. Can I just put whatever I want in here? See how this is 32? How about just 99? Oh God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that rookie numbers is about to eat the sun or the sun is about to eat rookie numbers. I'm really not sure who would win this fist fight. Rookie numbers won the, the fist fight, the sun is gone. Okay, so rookie numbers has transcended heat, but the only problem is it's just not cool enough. I think that we need something a little bit closer. This is one earth. This is a very specific earth. It will be known as sad earth. I just noticed that one of the things that you can spawn in this game is a pigeon. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. We will put another Earth next to sad Earth. These two Earths live in harmony. The only problem is that one Earth thinks that it's better than the other Earth. Entitled Earth. Why does this Earth think it's better? Because it's denser. Okay, bad things happened a lot faster than I thought they were going to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slow things down here so that you really get the opportunity to see what part of the earth got destroyed first? No, it's not Africa again, is it? Yep, sure is. Just trying to make it through all the volcanic rock over here. Florida, you still okay? Good. Now, unfortunately, um, this did immediately kill everyone on both planets. The best part about this is you can see just how fast these pieces of this earth are flying into this earth. They're moving at seven kilometers a second. They impact at 10 kilometers a second. Go ahead and just speed things along here. Oh, I thought maybe it had lost everything, but no, it's pooping out the rest of its mass. And now this earth is swallowing the other earth. Jesus, you glutton. Now it's cooling. Let's see if it ever gets back to normal and life can flourish again. <gasps> what the hell was that? The Earth just got pissed off and exploded. This is all that's left. This one sad piece. Oh, it's actually quite quite warm on this one piece of Earth. Everyone's still dead, I'm just telling you. We need to get a lot more excessive. Hold on. Okay, so let's say you have your sad Earth next to another sad Earth, but while everything is paused, we go ahead and we increase the density by, oh, you know, this many zeros. Anytime you see the Earth refuse to exist, that's bad. Now you have to slow things way the hell down. Okay, everything's still okay. Unfortunately, Australia is looking straight at the, I'm gonna call this Earth Trevor, looking straight at Trevor. Okay, no problems yet. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit here. I was gonna ask how Australia was feeling, um, but explosions are starting to happen all over the surface of the earth. That's bad. 16,000 degrees Celsius, you say? Oh God. I like how the earth has no idea who wants to die first. What the hell is happening over here? They're tiny little rail gun pieces of the other earth. Look at them fly across the screen. Up to 49,000 degrees Celsius. I like how there was no sun for light. I was gonna say there's no sun for light. And so this earth was like, that's fine. We have the sun at home. What happened to the planet that I had made? Oh, the earth currently exists inside of Trevor. I've never done this before. I don't actually know what happens when this occurs. Go ahead and speed things up. Ah, the earth is melting. That's not good. It is really bad when the earth is turning into like ions or whatever the hell this is. Way to go, Trevor. You dick. You crashed all of Universe Sandbox. 
I feel like we haven't broken the game enough to break the game. Sad Earth, where did you go? Sad Earth is down here. It's like, if I don't move, he can't see me. Good job staying still, but you can't stop the tears. Okay, so if we crash the game with that, I'm very curious what would happen if we took one Sad Earth and we surrounded it. You know what? Why leave it at just one band of extra Earths? Might as well ruin everything as much as possible after all. Now, some of these Earths may have been put too close to one another. We'll find out if people start to get liquid immediately. You can always tell bad positioning by the boiling of the human race. Okay, that yeah, looks good. All right, go ahead and slow things down. Turn off the pause. Oh, shit. Well, this is bad. Okay, so everyone's already starting to, you know, take half of everything and try and get custody of the kids, but that's okay. We're gonna take the middle earth here, now known as pig Venus numbers and we're gonna go ahead and increase that density a little bit now everyone on all these other earths may already be dead since you know the average surface temperature is 1400 degrees Celsius but pig Venus just fine all righty just waiting to see if all the chunks start coming this way nope doesn't look like this is enough mass yet Eh, 10 more density 10 more 10 more oh turkey nibbles right about here you can immediately tell when the earth goes super saiyan that means that you've reached the proper amount of density don't mind me just flying through the debris field let's go ahead and speed things up here to see what happens oh yeah <laughs> Oh, it's getting awesome. I'm kind of curious what happens to all the planets that are about to touch this thing because it's getting big enough to the point where it will start intersecting with all of the other masses that I've put here. See that? That's just the tip right there. This is that moment when some dude that's like seven foot eight tries to cut you in line. Oh, this is cool. This one earth over here has actually turned into a plasma. Oh, there's a few like that. Looks like uh, watery testicles almost. See this? It's sort of like Saturn only with a lot more death. It's working though. By, by forming like a Roman phalanx, they're holding back the earth from getting any bigger. A few of the smaller earths you'll see right here have lost their will to live. Just speeding things up to see all the different colors. <laughs> oh, hello. The phalanx is falling apart. It's not working any longer. Different, ooh, different parts of the universe are starting to coalesce into one small section. <laughs> now you might be saying to yourself, but Gray, what's the maximum temperature? of the earth i don't know what is that number i know it looks pretty big but the thing that you don't realize is that there's a bunch of zeros after this <laughs> all right jupiter's not gonna be called jupiter anymore it's gonna be called sad virgin jupiter now let's say an average earth and an average jupiter are sitting side by side what would happen well um in the beginning here nothing really was happening until you realize that slowly but surely we are all baking on the surface of the earth the maximum temperature is now 35 degrees celsius 36 degrees celsius in fact it's going up quite quickly if we continue to speed things up here and watch as jupiter melts every living being on the planet it'll feel much better when we finally get retribution average surface temperature is a uh, 79 degrees celsius all the ice on planet earth has melted see this this is what happens when i leave the earth alone for too long oh god even the parts that are leaving the earth are turning into red hot rocks of molten magma now this is cool we're actually leaving like a um like a poop smear all over jupiter here remember how our maximum temperature was something like i don't remember 200 and something degrees celsius it's now 18,000 degrees celsius let's go ahead and let this happen oh well will, uh, will our mass make it completely around the entirety of jupiter i wonder it's a, it's a big ass planet there we go we did it it's actually kind of neat to watch this from here it's like peeling an apple and the earth is effectively no more grab an earth Grab a sad virgin Jupiter. And since Jupiter thinks it's specifically better than us, we're going to measure everything in Jupiters. Let's just start out with a mass of one million Jupiters. Oh, Jesus, that didn't take very long. So, um, where Jupiter had pulled away all of our rocky goo, uh, we are milkshaking the crap out of Jupiter. 
See that? It tastes so good. Oh, the earth is growing very, very quickly. Okay, the earth is growing very, very quickly. How do you feel, Earth? The Earth is like, I need power! This is what you get for thinking you're cool, Jupiter. Are you happy now? And there you go. We now have a sunspot where Jupiter used to be. And the name of the Earth is now red. It's like an MMO game when you PvP someone and you turn red. That Earth is a killer! So just real quick, there's something else I have to do, and that's make it so that Jupiter isn't position locked, so it does get pulled to Earth and then give Earth 1 billion times Jupiter's mass. Okay, this is pretty cool. I've given the Earth so much mass that look at how the water is compressed against the Earth's surface. <laughs> Jesus, Earth is very vascular. This is Earth on all the protein. Okay, I'm not actually sure like how quickly uh, things are gonna things are gonna turn bad. To probably move things a little bit faster here. Here we go. I probably shouldn't really have to say this, but obviously no one survived this. Okay, the Earth is turning red. It's like charging its laser. Things are moving insanely slow, and you can actually see as Jupiter gets yanked toward the Earth. The first spots of immediate death have appeared and the Earth is now partially boiling. Okay, now the Earth is starting to go like supernova. Oh, Jesus. That's it, Earth. Who will survive the head-on collision? Ultimate one billion Jupiter. Obviously, it's gonna be one billion Jupiter Earth. I'm not actually sure what'll happen when the two surfaces touch over here because I think Earth is still a solid. It is absolutely still a solid. Holy Jesus. This is interesting. You actually get to see heaven for just a moment. Oh, I'm gonna go as close as possible to see what it's like. My computer is super pissed off right now. <laughs> oh God, I can't get out of here now that I'm here. I don't exactly even know what is happening, but it looks amazing. Did the earth just... Did the... <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It like teleported up here. Oh my God, it's rotating inside of Jupiter. It's like a secondary earth down here. My God, the earth has grown a tumor. It looks like a turtle. I am so glad that I did this. I have never seen anything so spectacular. I'm almost afraid to increase the speed, but uh, for science. Oh, there's like a hundred Earths now. Look at the, look at all the meteorites of Earth. And Jupiter and Earth are both immediately vaporized. Well, all right, there you go. That's what would happen if Earth had 1 billion times Jupiter's mass. Not only would everyone be immediately flattened, but the Earth and everything around it would be vaporized. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.